Apple Reminders is a simple but super effective way to increase productivity. From time-saving tricks to powerful pro-level features, these tips will change the way you use your reminders. So in today's video, I'm sharing 10 productivity boosting Apple Reminders tip you need to know. Let's dive right in. When you have a long list of tasks, maybe for the day or travel packing list, and you don't have the time to organize them, reminders can do it for you. Just tap the three dot menu in the corner and select auto categorize. Your items will be grouped into categories like chores, hobbies and interests, personal tasks, shopping, social events, travel and outdoor, work and productivity and miscellaneous. I love this feature because it instantly brings order to a messy list and saves me so much time from manually sorting tasks one by one. You can click the three dots again and uncheck the auto categorize to remove the sections. Just know that this is a new feature that Apple introduced in iOS 26. So make sure you're on the latest OS before trying this feature out. Sometimes it really feels motivating to go back and see how many tasks you have actually finished. Or maybe you want to bring one back for reference. By default, completed items disappear from your active list, but you can easily view them later. Open a list and tap on the three dot menu. Select show completed. At the top, you will now see how many items you have completed. You also have the option to clear them all here. Scroll to the end to see every completed task. Tap any item to restore it back into your active reminders. And if you want a clean view again, just tap the three dots and choose hide completed. This is a great way to keep yourself motivated, track progress and bring back old reminders when needed. Did you know that you can add reminders without even unlocking your phone? With Reminders widget, you can create a new task in seconds right from your lock screen or home screen. Let's say you're walking down the street and suddenly you remember that you need to schedule a dentist appointment. Instead of unlocking your phone, opening the app and typing it in, you just swipe to your lock screen widget, tap once and boom, you've got a new reminder saved. To get this, long press on your lock screen or home screen until you enter the edit mode. Tap the plus button to add a widget, scroll down to reminders and pick the style you like. Either a single quick add button or a list view. Once added, just tap it anytime to add a new reminder instantly. Typing out a reminder doesn't have to be rigid. Reminders can actually understand natural language, which means you can just type as if you're speaking. For example, instead of manually setting a date and time, just type dinner with the girls on Saturday at 7 p.m. Reminders will automatically pick up Saturday at 7 p.m. and schedule it for you. Or you could type pay credit card bill 20th of every month. It'll suggest adding it as a monthly task and it'll create a recurring reminder for that schedule. This is perfect when you're in a rush and don't want to fiddle with the information section and fill each section there. Try it next time. Here's something new. You can use the quick toolbar that appears right above your keyboard when creating or editing a reminder. This gives you instant access to common options like adding a date, time, location, flag, or even a photo without digging through menus. Let's say you're typing meeting with John. Instead of tapping into info, just hit the calendar icon in the toolbar and quickly set a date and time. Or the location, like remind me when getting in the car or getting out of the car or arriving home. You can also add hashtags, flag it from here or attach a picture. It's faster, smoother and keeps your focus on capturing tasks instead of getting lost in settings. Sorting reminders is one of those things that can save you mental energy. Instead of dragging tasks up and down, let the app handle it for you. For example, in your work list, you can sort by due dates so the most urgent tasks float on the top. For a shopping list, maybe you sort by title so the items are alphabetized. Open a list, tap the three dot menu in the corner, choose sort by. 
pick from due date creation date priority or title now your lists stay neat without spending time rearranging things manually we all have certain lists that we use daily or regularly maybe your grocery list or your main to do list for work instead of scrolling to find them you can pin them at the top why this matters is let's say you've got 15 different lists but your today list is the one you open every morning by pinning it you never waste time searching for it every day to pin a list just swipe right on a list and tap pin it will stay logged at the top of your sidebar for quick access it's simple but it saves so much time i want to say a reminder because your phone played the same old default sound that you have tuned out here's a fix you can assign a custom notification sound just for reminders go to settings sounds and haptics then reminders choose a unique tone that stands out from your other alerts this way when you hear that sound your brain immediately knows oh that's a task i can't ignore i recommend picking a short but sharp tone that's different from your usual text or email alerts If you find yourself recreating the same checklist over and over like packing list for trips or a weekly grocery staple list you will love this trick. You create the checklist once then simply duplicate it anytime you need it again. For example, make a vacation packing list with subtasks like clothes, toiletries, chargers and documents. Next time you travel, just duplicate that list instead of building it from scratch. Open the list Tap the three dot menu and select duplicate list. It's basically turning your most used list into reusable templates. This last one is something most people don't know it exists. Did you know that you can actually print or export your list? For example, let's say you're planning a family trip and not everyone uses iPhones. You can print the list directly from your Mac or export it as a PDF and email it to the group. Now everyone is on the same page even Android users on your Mac or iPad open a list go to the files menu select print or export as PDF this feature is underrated but really handy when you are collaborating with people outside Apple ecosystem and there you have it 10 brand new Apple reminders tips and tricks that goes beyond basic If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more Apple tips and tricks. And let me know in the comments which of these tips are you going to start using right away. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.